Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Of course, just spending some time with my girl Matilda who has gotten so brave now that she doesn't even mind walking around on the slippery floor. She's out pretty much every day just cruising around and I love the fact that she's kind of come out of her shell, so to speak, that's right. And you know, I tell you, tortoises are certainly one of the coolest pet reptiles. I mean, they're probably the most popular. As a matter of fact, if you actually look at the ratio of people that keep reptiles, turtles and tortoises make up the majority of people, which is crazy. Crazy, right because I'm a snake guy I love lizards but the truth is turtles and tortoises comprise the majority of people's love of reptiles which I think is amazing now I have to ask myself what tortoise would make a good pet you know Matilda the Aldalber tortoise is one of the giant tortoises of course parallel evolution with the Galapagos Island tortoises but these guys come from the Seychelles Islands off of Madagascar again Matilda is going to be 400 pounds one day she's only about 150 pounds right now and they are absolutely wonderful wonderful tortoises. You can see they love pets, they love to hang out, they're amazing. But you know, is this really a pet animal? I mean, can most people have a 500 pound tortoise that's going to live 200 years? Probably not, right? Now don't get me wrong, I think she's probably one of the most incredible pet tortoises you can have because the personality of Galops and Eldalbers are absolutely wonderful. But the truth is, it's just not practical to have a 400 pound tortoise. Hey, Speedy. There you go, bud. And listen, the majority of people, not majority of people, but a lot of, lot of people get sulcatas because the African spur thighs are probably the most commonly bred tortoise in the country, to be totally honest with you. And they're so cute as babies. They're absolutely amazing. The problem is, of course, is that these guys are little tanks. I mean, they are unbelievable. Not only do they have tremendously hard shells, just like all of them, and they have those really tough spur thighs, but these guys are burrowers. So if you put these in your backyard, they'll literally sometimes burrow down five or six feet and make huge dens and stuff like that. On top of that, they will literally go through like a drywall. This guy literally is a tank like you can't believe. When there's an, an obstacle in his way, he'll just barrel right through it. It's not because they're bad animals, it's just because that's what they do, you know? They just kind of go at it. And the problem is, too, is that this is still one of the biggest tortoises in the world. You know, a big sulcata can get 100 plus pounds, even up to 150 pounds. Now, that's a big, big tortoise. So when they're babies, they look unbelievably cute, and they're relatively cheap. That's the other thing, it's like they're cheap. Some people are like, oh, well, I'll get a sulcata tortoise. But then, with a guy like Speedy that's about nine years old right now, maybe even 10 years old, he's starting to get big, but he's gonna get huge. He's gonna get three, four times the size. And we have the ability to take care of something like this. But on top of the fact that they get big, they eat a lot, they're destructive, they poo and pee a ton. They are definitely one of the most dirty tortoises that I've ever kept. Now we love him to death and, and we've even trained him to be honest with you, where he'll like sometimes go and follow me around. I can point in a direction, he'll turn his direction, stuff like that. So they're amazing animals if you have the ability. And certainly if you live in Arizona or Florida can have them outside, that is awesome. But again, even when they're outside you've got to be careful about them burrowing underneath your fence but other than that they can be amazing but when you're in the rest of the country these guys are hard to keep inside man I'm telling you what they need a lot of space they need a lot of time they need a lot of energy and you can see he's coming over saying hey can I eat you no speedy I love you to death so listen spur thigh tortoises can be great but they are definitely not for most people There's no doubt when you get into the smaller species of tortoise, like leopard tortoises, they are definitely more reasonable when it comes to a pet animal. There's no doubt about that. I mean, again, leopard tortoises they hit pretty big, but they don't get absolutely mammoth, you know? And they're just not as destructive as either, right? They don't dig quite as much. They're a little bit better when it comes to that type of thing. And they will still live 150 years. So Steve here is an absolute beautiful, beautiful 22-year-old leopard tortoise right here. And I love them to death. So again, I'm not saying 
saying you shouldn't get a sulcata. I'm not saying you shouldn't get a galop or an Eldalber if you can keep them. I'm just saying when you start getting into the smaller tortoises, and but you still want a relatively big one, a leopard tortoise isn't a bad option to be totally honest with you because they get large but not so large that you can't keep them. You can have a nice pen in your backyard and have a handful of these guys and they're absolutely wonderful animals and it's so good because they're pretty easy to care for, right? I mean, you know, so many animals are so difficult to care for. When it comes to most tortoises, they're pretty simple. I mean, obviously they're vegetarians, you want lots of roughage, you know, definitely a little bit of fruit at the most. You don't want to give them fruit very often, but you know, any kind of like rough greens, haze, uh, cactus pads, all that type of stuff are really good for these guys. And they absolutely have so much personality. I mean, I'm telling you what, I get so much joy out of the leopard tortoises, of course, Aldalber tortoises. Speedy is my man. I love that guy to death. Most people that want to get into tortoises and can keep tortoises should probably keep their expectations a little smaller with something like a leopard tortoise or even smaller. What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Do you know? If you do, down in the comments tell me what you think it is. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. The truth is turtles are typically aquatic, so they spend most of their life in the water, and tortoises spend most of their life on land. Now, theoretically, in parts of the world, everything with a shell like this is a turtle. So sometimes in parts of Europe, they'll call tortoises turtles, and they're not really wrong, but the fact is that these are really terrapins, and they actually spend their life in the water, whereas tortoises, really spend the majority of their life on land. But that doesn't mean that all tortoises are desert dwellers. Take, for instance, the redfoot tortoises, of course. These guys aren't desert dwellers at all. They actually come basically from the subtropical and tropical rainforest. So they like higher humidity, and these guys will actually spend a lot of time in the water, not swimming around, but they love to kind of trudge through mud and water, and they drink a lot and stuff like that. So you want a higher humidity. That's the only thing that you really have to figure out when it comes to tortoises is that, what do they like, right? Some tortoises are very dry desert type animals, so you want really arid areas. And some tortoises like these guys, actually like it humid with a lot of water because they come from a very humid area. And these guys don't get even as big as leopard tortoises, so I love redfoot and yellowfoot tortoises as pets. I mean, they are super adorable, absolutely amazing. This guy's named Chip, actually, and they don't get large at all. He's gonna get maybe eh, one and a half times the size or so, and that's it. So they're gonna be relatively apartment-sized tortoises, so you can have all the fun that you have with the giant tortoises in a little shell body, and that's absolutely incredible. Now keep in mind, those of you guys don't know a lot about tortoises, that this shell right here is actually attached right to their spine and their nervous system. So they don't shed their shell, they don't crawl out of their shell, they're born with that shell, they stay with that shell their entire life, and they can actually feel when you touch their shell. Some of the cutest videos out there are the ones where people are scratching the rear end of their tortoise and it's kind of shaking back and forth. That's because they can actually feel that scratch. I mean, tortoises are absolutely amazing. The fact is there's tons of options when it comes to tortoises, you know, and I know I'm a snake guy, I'm a, a lizard guy, but I'm also an animal lover, i.e. the new animal ambassador, Drogo the Sloth. I love all animals, and tortoises certainly are absolutely incredible, and it's not just the ones that I've shown them, I mean, that's all we keep here, but there's Greek tortoises, there's Russian tortoises, there's a lot of really small tortoises that can be amazing, and so you just have to do your research, you know, make sure you buy good animals. In particular, I really think you should always buy captive bred. There's no reason to buy wild caught animals these days. They're being produced in numbers that make complete sense. So the fact is, is if you can find whatever tortoise fits your needs, and hey, maybe a tortoise like Matilda fits your needs. Maybe you have a huge plot of land somewhere where they'll actually thrive in, and I think that's absolutely amazing for you. But the fact is, is that you can have little tiny tortoises that are just as cool as Matilda, and they really do make great pets. They live a long time. They're relatively easy to care for, and they are great companions. So although I'm usually talking about snakes and reptiles of other shorts today i wanted to give you the kind of tortoise treatment if you know what i mean and see what goes on but nevertheless i love tortoises and you should too Lori, i noticed something different about you today don't don't start with me now i did really want to ask you you know I, i'm talking about tortoises today okay. in the vlog They're all about tortoises matilda and would you say matilda's your favorite animal here i think so i yes. mean besides Phoebe, of course 
but uh, the actual tortoise. So yes. why, why do you love Matilda so much? What is it about tortoises that are so amazing and Matilda in particular? Uh, you know what, I don't really know. I mean, I, I don't have that answer um, of all the animals, reptiles, whatever we work with. I've always loved tortoises probably the most. I just, I think they're neat. They have cool personalities. I like the way they look. I like the way they interact. Do you think it's weird that literally, don't you think that Matilda is literally feeding <laughs> in a reptile? She, she is, yes. Yeah, I, I, I say cute. that all the time. They act the same. They're big and scared of everything <laughs> and goofy. <laughs> the tortoises are amazing. Yes, yes. So you're pretty lucky. Uh, well, maybe I'm lucky. I don't know that we don't live in like Florida. Otherwise, we probably have a huge tortoise we have, collection. We have a tortoise area. <laughs> yes, <laughs> an outdoor tor tortuarium. Tortuarium. <laughs> well, here's your pups. That's my beast. It's a rare time that you're going to hear me spend the whole vlog talking about tortoises, but uh, they are amazing. I do love tortoises, and I hope that this kind of helped you uh, love tortoises a bit too. They can be amazing animals, and I think that if you want a tortoise, just do your research, find the right tortoise that is right for you because there are so many to choose from I know that you can I hope you enjoyed this video if you did here is a playlist of a bunch of cool animals that I played with that you guys might want to take a look at please you know check that out if you don't mind up here you can actually subscribe to my podcast channel we'll probably talk about tortoises sometime on this side you can subscribe to this vlog channel hopefully you already have turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you tomorrow